In this video, we're gonna talk about how I just got scammed for like $1,500 with some of this NFT stuff. Now, if you're not familiar with what NFTs are, I'll break it down real quick. So basically what these NFTs are by name, it's a non-fungible token, but don't worry about the name. If electricity was called Shmagigi, you would still use it the same way. You'd still flip your light switch on and off and all that. So don't worry about the name, don't get caught up on it. But basically what these NFTs are, they're like limited numbers of digital things, if you will. So to give you more specific of an example, if you wanna go and buy a Rolex watch or you wanna go and buy a Louis Vuitton or things like that, it's pretty useless sometimes compared to other ones that might be cheaper. But you're still gonna go and buy that because of the brand, the status, the this and that, and that's how they acquire their value. So that's what NFTs are, but just a digital version of it. That's why I say don't get caught up on the name, just kind of try to understand what they are. So somebody made a new designer brand and they start making these pictures of it and there's only a certain amount of these pictures and everybody wants them. Just like how there's these certain amount of watches, certain amount of bags, whatever it is, I'm sure you get the point. And that's what these are. And this is the kind of specific area that I got scammed in is with these like photo looking JPEG type NFTs. They have various different ways, don't get caught up on all that. But basically what happened is, I'm gonna give you guys the whole story so that you can learn from it and maybe not make the same mistake in the future as well and just be aware of what's going on. So I'm new to the NFT space and I'm kind of just you know looking around from this website, that website, trying to figure out just what I can learn Learn. You know, you, you have two ways of getting into a market. Take a course by someone and learn by what they've done, or you just jump in and do it. Now, I don't know anyone that I could have taken a course of, so I could have just sat around, cried, nagged, saying, oh, I don't know anyone to put me on, this and that. Or I could just jump in and do it. Sure, I might lose money, I might get scammed like I did, but what else could I do? I wanted to be involved, I wanna learn. So I'm just jumping in and looking at these sites. The main one is OpenSea that I was looking at, and I go to their statistics and I wanna see like, what's the most popping NFT right now? And I see that CryptoPunks is the most popping one. Now these crypto punks, they can go for about $500,000 for each one. Some of them more, some of them less, but either way, like this is crazy money that we're talking about here. These are people with like real money dealing with these things. So of course I can't buy one right now, but I wanted to go and look at the activity and see some of the other people that do own them and see, all right, well, what are these people up to? You know, maybe these people own some other things that I can afford at this time because I don't really have any other knowledge on how else I can evaluate these things and move forward with making the right decision on which one to buy. So I'm looking at all of these people. I go through the chain and I see, all right, this person selling this crypto punk to this guy, that guy selling it to this guy. And I just start clicking around the whole entire page and opening the, the buyers and the sellers to go and look at what each one has and what each one does. And some of these people are like real ballers if you really try to like, what do you evaluate their portfolio? I mean, I, I came across a guy that looks like he has almost $30 million worth of just this CryptoPunk NFT, not counting everything else he had. I'm thinking I can finesse the system here. So I'm going in and I'm looking at his transactions to see what is he buying? What's he doing? And I noticed that he's minting this specific NFT. Quick breakdown on what minting is if you don't know. Minting, if you think of it like minting a coin, when a government mints a coin, they're bringing a coin into existence. So minting an NFT means bringing it into existence, being like the first owner of it, for lack of a better word. So I see these people minting it. So I go in and I look at, okay, well, what is this NFT specifically? because I don't know how to mint it. And usually to mint it, you have to get on something that's called a, a white list or something like that. Basically, you gotta get on the guest list to be able to mint this. And getting on the guest list of some of these NFTs is harder than even getting on, you know, the list of an, a Rolex dealer to get a new watch from them. So that's what I see these people doing. I see these people minting this particular new NFT. And it's not just this one particular guy, it's multiple owners of this expensive NFT. All of them are going in and minting this new thing. You know, I understand if it's just one guy that's doing it, yeah, I don't blindly follow that, but it's like, I saw like 10 people doing it. So I'm here thinking I got in early. I think, you know, like I caught the trend before everyone else did, or I'm getting in in the early stages, but I guess that wasn't the case. Or maybe it is, who knows, you never know. Maybe it'll turn into something 10 years down the line. Of course, I don't think it will, but yeah. I go in to look at this particular new NFT. It's called Crypto Killer Squad. And I wanna see, okay, well, how much are they going for? Maybe I can buy one since I can't mint one. I go in and I see that they're not for sale yet, but I see, okay, let me look at their profile, see if I can learn a little bit more about them. Maybe I can join their Discord and find out how I can get you know, on the whitelist for that to be able to mint it. I don't find their Discord, but I see a website in their link or in their description, the, the link to their website, I see it there in their profile. So I click on that, which it takes you to their website. And I see that it says, click here to mint. And I'm thinking like, okay, well, I mean, sometimes these are 
scams like this, but how much of a scam could this be? I, I was thinking at the time, you know, it's, it's from these people that are dealing with these crypto punks. It's a link that's directly on the profile of the particular thing that they're minting. It's letting me mint. All right, let me do a test. Okay, cool. I, again, I think I'm finessing. It's like if you're underage and you're trying to get in through like the back door at a club, but then you find out that she just like completely walked into like the jail cell where they hold everybody that they catch trying to sneak in. That's basically what's happening here. I did one as a test because I thought I could finesse. I thought I could, you know, just sneak my way in and mint one. I didn't want to get scammed and I didn't want to get too excited. So I didn't want to do 10 or 20. So I did one and I noticed that it showed up in my wallet and it showed up on my OpenSea profile. And I got all excited from there. And I said, all right, well, let me go do two more. You know, one for my little dog, Charlie, one for my girlfriend. And you know, just, you know, I try to like find little excuses to get more, I guess. But that's my point is I got excited after I saw it worked, I went and I bought more. And then immediately from there, I went and I let one of my friends know he was a person that's actually helped me get into this NFT space. I couldn't really find many videos about it. I knew he was into it. So I asked him about it. He gave me the consideration. So I wanted to give him the consideration of saying like, hey man, look, I think I found something. I literally messaged him and I said, hey man, look, I found something. It could be big. It could be a very big scam too. And I'm very glad that I told him that. So I get on a call with him immediately and I'm explaining everything to him. And he's like, yo man, it sounds like you might've found something. The only thing he was suspicious about was that all of those particular things looked like they were going based off of Polygon. And he was kind of curious about that and what Polygon was. Now me, I was a little suspicious. Now I started noticing the profile page for the NFT that I got that I minted was showing different statistics than the NFT that these other guys, that the big ballers will call them, minted. I noticed their page was showing one thing different than my page, even though it was the same name and the same picture and same everything. So while I'm on the phone with him, I'm like, all right, you go and try and figure out the polygon thing. Let me try and figure out what this difference is and why I'm seeing two different things when I refresh this page, but not that page. And we'll kind of re-collaborate back together and see what's going on. And immediately, as soon as I got off the phone with him, it hit me. One of them was the Crypto Killers Squad, and the other one was the Crypto Killers Club. So I got finessed. I let him know right away, hey man, make sure you don't mint anything, don't go forward with it, it's a scam. They gave me something completely different, and I still don't understand it. I'm still at a little bit of a loss for words because it's like, man, the link was in the description of the main page that they were minting. So I don't know, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's tons of tricks in this crypto world. Who knows, maybe this was a common one and everyone's gonna make fun of me saying like, hey man, you're an idiot, you should have known better, blah, 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 blah. But you know, like I said, there's only one way to learn by jumping and doing it if you don't have someone else to teach you. So that's that's kind of the route that I had to go. And I'm by all means, guys, I'm not complaining at all. I don't want anyone to think that, oh, I'm just crying and nagging here that I got scammed. I knew going into it that this was the crypto world. I knew I was gonna take some losses down the line. So I'm not complaining. I'm not upset. I'm, I'm completely take responsibility for this. I just want to share the story with you guys in hopes that, you know, either it entertains you or you learn from it and don't make the same mistake. But I don't know, man, they're good. You know, I'm trying to give myself the benefit of the doubt here and saying like, you're stuck between like, yeah, you got to, you know, strike when opportunity presents, but also like, you know, don't be so like, you know, hesitant on everything, you know, but also analyze everything to the right way. So it's like, what can you do, you know? Just learn from your mistakes. Hopefully I learned from it. Hopefully I don't get scammed like this again. If I do, I'll let you guys know the update on how that went because I should have learned my lesson on this one, but we'll see. So hopefully you guys learned from this. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and that that's pretty much it. Don't get scammed and keep an eye out for just, just keep an eye out for life, guys.